everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Romney if you're new here hello today we're gonna do a little try on I went shopping yesterday and I popped into Primark I must say I'm not a Primark girl I mm, I brought a few bits from there in the past mainly children's clothes and little holiday bits that you know so I thought I would just pop over and have a quick route around and see what I find. I much prefer to spend a little bit more money on items and you know you get what you pay for so I would prefer to spend a little bit more money on my items of clothing so it's gonna last. If you're wondering what I'm wearing today on my eyes I use the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe Vault Collection in Armed and Gorgeous and my lips are Too Faced, Melted, Long Lasting, Olipy thing um, in, I think it was Melted Strawberry. It's gone on my cup as well. Ah, down the hatch. Okay, so I've got a few bits. I also went into New Look as well. So it's only a few bits, but I thought... Before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That'd be cool. Don't just linger there. Just, you know, subscribe. It'll be nice. So the first thing I got, <laughs> I got a fanny pack or a bum bag. <laughs> if you're in the UK, it is a bum bag. Uh, I never thought I would buy a bum bag because I'm not a, no, not not a bum bag kind of person. Well, I didn't think I was. So, I've already taken off the tags and everything because I've already used it this morning. So, this was from Primark and this was £6. I don't know why I'm showing you the tag. It was £6. Uh, it is a croc, crocodile skin. It's not actual crocodile skin. Crocodile effect plastic it's got a big zipper and inside I've got my doggy poop bags doggy treats and doggy wipes the wipes are for if my dog rolls in poop and I get to clean her off before she gets in my car so I purchased this because I've been after one for a while I've been in denial said I didn't want one and everybody else had one and I wanted one so yeah so it's a pain when you're out walking the dogs and I've got two dogs when I'm walking the dogs I don't have anywhere to put my phone the poop bags the treats the wipes the leads oh, it's like having a baby that's how yeah um not like the pain but it's like having a baby having to take everything with you I've got little pair of socks I've got some Disney socks these are mini mouse socks um, and they were reduced to a pound I got a dress this is a bardo dress striped looks a little bit like a deck chair it's only short so you'll see when I insert the clip of me trying it on this little dress was at six pounds Okay, excuse my bra straps, and I've still got my socks on. Very attractive. So this is the dress. Mm, I'm not loving it. I think it falls at a really unflattering length. It's, yeah. Um, you do have little bits that you put your arms through, and then that comes through. It's a little bit tight. Don't like it as tight around my arms gotta say um feel a little bit like a deck chair but anyway this is the dress next item i got was more of a autumny or a cold summer evening dress a uh, dress summer evening uh hoodie it's fluffy inside it has got some fleece inside it's pretty nice actually this is this is nice and thick 
So this is like a cropped hoodie and I think this was was eight pounds now three pounds so i purchased that for three pounds and i got that in a medium okay so this was the hoodie cropped not too short again uh it's really nice and warm i love that fluff that fleece inside and obviously i forgot to say earlier it's got like a detail along the bottom um, where it's been cut just to give it that little distressed slightly distressed look it's really comfortable it's really good quality I think this one really good like it and so this again would be perfect for a summer evening if it was a bit nippy maybe a little bit too hot actually because of that fleece lining but it would definitely be quite nice for autumn Pew of paper bag shorts these ones are neutral with stripes oh my god i thought that was a skirt then i was like no no it's fine and these were eight pounds eight pounds i thought they were four god damn it stop coming up so these were eight pounds and i got these in a size 12 as well it's got a nice little button detail okay so these are the neutral paper bag shorts these were in a size 12 they're slightly see-through so they're not that great um, quality material but obviously as I said I only paid eight pounds for them so they're cinched in up here and yeah they'll be all right for the summer the next item I purchased was a pair of these like paper bag shorts. So they are a very, dare I say, like dark burnt orange with white spots, as you can see. These were just four pounds and I got them in a size 12. So hopefully they'll fit because they didn't have a 14 right these were the other kind of paper bag shorts these were again a size 12 but as you can see they are a little bit um a bit tight they're not very flattering they're shorter as well i like that they're shorter but they're not they show off my stomach a lot and my side bulges so they're all right they're not too tight like they're all right for sitting sitting in the garden in i mean for four pounds i'm not going to take them back huh. i got another pair of jean shorts high-waisted i think these were super high-waisted tuck my belly in uh these were six pounds they don't have any ripping or anything in them i'm sure i can aid with that <laughs> um, i got these in a 14 so i thought the jean ones unlike the paper bag ones the jean ones don't really have as much give um so hopefully they fit okay so these are the super high waist black shorts they are jeans they're a thinner jean material they are a little bit tight but they're not they'll stretch they've got a lot of stretch to them yeah i would say they are slightly slightly too tight again shows off my bulge a little bit so the next thing i got was a pair oh my god you can't see me these are a pair of high-waisted shorts it's got some ripped detail some fraying you never noticed if there's one on the butt there is no rips on the butt as such there's one on the pocket um i'm i'm a big girl i'm not skinny so generally i'm a size 14 oh my god stay down worst thing to wear so i'm generally around about a size 14 bottom and top 12 
sometimes 14 depends on if it's got any give or not um, and depends if I want it extra baggy or not so these again were from Primark and these were 12 pounds oh I can't get them up can get them up but I can't do them up look how far away so they're exactly the same size as those other ones I'm like holding my stomach like they're exactly the same as the other ones I don't need like a size 18 or something jeez and the last item from Primark was this this is um, kind of like another cropped jumper this is a lot thinner as you can see I don't know whether you can see it's a lot thinner it's slightly um, like a waffle kind of material uh, I got this in a large because I wanted it as like a nice baggy loungy kind of top uh, for again uh, a cooler summer evening or um, or autumn and this again was an eight um, was an eight was eight pounds okay so this was the waffled like cropped -ish. not too cropped it's not like cropped um casual jumper it's not as baggy as what i wanted it to be i wanted it to be like cute or off the shoulder kind of number but that's definitely not what's happened here but other than that it's cute and it'll be great for just lounging around sitting in the garden in the evening or something like that if it's a little bit nippy and then in new look i got myself a pair of joggers they're stinched in at the bottom a little bit nice stretchy waistband and i got those in a no flipping neck they're on the wrong hanger these are a 16 apparently I've got them i'll try them on anyway okay so these are the joggers these are in a 16 rather than 14 because i picked up the wrong one um they have got a lot of room oh, ow. so i will probably exchange them but hopefully you can see it's like a camo uh, leopard print on those and cinched in as i said it's cinched in at the bottom and they're nice and comfortable <laughs> And I also got myself a little denim jacket. This is a cropped denim jacket. It's the lighter denim, like a acid wash denim, isn't it? Uh, and it's got some rips and some frays and some distressing going on. Um, and I had to get this in a size 10, which I'm really tough with now because all the others were very very long in the arm they were they had too much material and this one fits really well um i didn't try any of this clothes on apart from the jacket because i couldn't decide on which color and which type i wanted so these are easy just to quickly throw on without having to go in the changing rooms put my coat on and obviously the dog gets excited because she thinks she's going for a walk. So this is the denim jacket. As you can see, it's cropped. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with this. <laughs> so, but it is cropped. It has got the ripped details. So that was my little try on what I purchased yesterday on my little shopping spree. As you can see, some were pretty good and some were absolute. So yeah, I mean those shorts, what were they about? So it just proves that um, 
the inconsistency of sizes are, you know, huge, huge. And I never try items on, so it's really annoying if I do buy stuff from Primark and it doesn't fit because I have to get a boat over to the mainland <laughs> to be able to get to my nearest Primark. So it's a pain in the bum having to, you know, pay nearly 20 quid, sometimes more if you're taking the car over, just to go over and exchange stuff. I know that I could try it on while I'm over there, but I don't want to. I don't like it. I hate trying it on. I get really claustrophobic in the changing rooms and yeah, I just don't like doing it. And now I've got a couple of bits. So I'm definitely gonna give get the jean shorts. I might send both of them back to be honest. Um, that dress, don't like that. Made me look like a deck chair, had no shape to it whatsoever. Um, and keeping the denim jacket from New Look. The joggers were all right. I might go and see if I can try on the 14 and see what they look like, see if they're a little bit better for me. Um, the gray mole top, gonna keep that. Gonna keep the hoodie, love that hoodie. And the stripy pair of shorts. The other shorts with the white spots, the um, like burnt orange with white spots, I might send those back, I don't know. I quite like those, but they are slightly too big. They're not that flattering. But it means having to pay to get over to the mainland again to return them, so. <sighs> All right, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there is any items that you have purchased in Primark that you love and what you think of their products. Are they good for their money or are you better off saving a little bit extra and going and buying something better quality and knowing that it fitted really well? Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button before you leave. I'll see you all later. Bye.